Session 13 of the Law of 1 January 29, 1981. Ra, I am Ra. I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I communicate now. Questioner. First of all I would like to apologize for asking so many stupid questions while searching for what we should do. I consider what we are doing to be a great honor and privilege to also be humble messengers of the law of one. I now believe that the way to prepare this book is to start at the beginning of creation and follow through the evolution of man on earth, investigating at all times how the law of one was used. I would also like to make as the title of the book, The Law of One, and I would like to state as the author, Ra. Would you agree to this? Ra, I am Ra. Your query is unclear. Would you please state as separate queries each area of agreement? Questioner. First, I would like to start at the beginning of creation, as far back as we can go and follow the development of man to the present time. Is this agreeable? Ra, I am Ra. This is completely your discernment slash understanding slash decision. Questioner. Secondly, I would like to title the book. The Law of One, by Ra. Is this agreeable? Ra, I am Ra. The title of the book is acceptable. The authorship, by vibratory sound complex Ra is, in our distortion of understanding, incomplete. We are messengers. Questioner, can you state who then should author the book? Ra, I am Ra. I can only request that if your discernment slash understanding suggests the use of this vibratory sound complex, Ra, the phrase and humble messenger of the law of one be appended. Questioner, thank you. Can you tell me of the first known thing in the creation? Ra, I am Ra. The first known thing in the creation is infinity. The infinity is creation. Questioner. From this infinity then must come what we experience as creation. What was the next step or the next evolvement? Ra, I am Ra. Infinity became aware. This was the next step. Questioner, after this, what came next? Ra, I am Ra. Awareness led to the focus of infinity into infinite energy. You have called this by various vibrational sound complexes the most common to your ears being logos or love. The creator is the focusing of infinity as an aware or conscious principle called by us as closely as we can create understanding slash learning in your language, intelligent infinity. Questioner, can you state the next step? Ra, I am Ra. The next step is still at this space slash time nexus in your illusion achieving its progression as you may see it in your illusion. The next step is an infinite reaction to the creative principle following the law of one in one of its primal distortions, freedom of will. Thus many, many dimensions, infinite in number, are possible. The energy moves from the intelligent infinity due first to the outpouring of randomized creative force, this then creating patterns which in holographic style appear as the entire creation no matter which direction or energy is explored. These patterns of energy begin then to regularize their own local, shall we say, rhythms and fields of energy, thus creating dimensions and universes. Questioner, then can you tell me how the galaxy and planetary systems were formed? Ra, I am Ra. You must imagine a great leap of thought in this query, for at the last query the physical, as you call, it, universes were not yet born. The energies moved in increasingly intelligent patterns until the individualization of various energies emanating from the creative principle of intelligent infinity became such as to be co-creators. Thus the so-called physical matter began. The concept of light is instrumental in grasping this great leap of thought as this vibrational distortion of infinity is the building block of that which is known as matter, the light being intelligent and full of energy thus being the first distortion of intelligent infinity which was called by the creative principle. This light of love was made to have in its occurrences of being certain characteristics, among them the infinite whole paradoxically described by the straight line, as you would call it. 
This paradox is responsible for the shape of the various physical illusion entities you call solar systems, galaxies, and planets of revolving and tending towards the lenticular. Questioner, I think I made an error in getting ahead of the process you were describing. Would it be helpful to fill in that great leap due to the mistake I made? Ra, I am Ra. I attempted to bridge the gap. However, you may question me in any manner you deem appropriate. Questioner, taking the question just before the one I asked about the galaxies and planets and tell me what the next step was from there? Ra, I am Ra. The steps, as you call them, are, at the point of question, simultaneous and infinite. Questioner, can you tell me how intelligent infinity became, shall we say, I'm having difficulty with the language, how intelligent infinity became individualized from itself? Ra, I am Ra. This is an appropriate question. The intelligent infinity discerned a concept. This concept was discerned to be freedom of will of awareness. This concept was finity. This was the first and primal paradox or distortion of the law of one. Thus the one intelligent infinity invested itself in an exploration of manyness. Due to the infinite possibilities of intelligent infinity there is no ending to manyness. The exploration, thus, is free to continue infinitely in an eternal present. Questioner. Was the galaxy that we are in created by the infinite intelligence or was it created by a portion of the infinite intelligence? Ra, I am Ra. The galaxy and all other things of material of which you are aware are products of individualized portions of intelligent infinity. As each exploration began, it, in turn, found its focus and became co-creator. Using intelligent infinity each portion created an universe and allowing the rhythms of free choice to flow, playing with the infinite spectrum of possibilities, each individualized portion channeled the love slash light into what you might call intelligent energy, thus creating the so-called natural laws of any particular universe. Each universe, in turn, individualized to a focus becoming, in turn, co-creator and allowing further diversity, thus creating further intelligent energies regularizing or causing natural laws to appear in the vibrational patterns of what you would call a solar system. Thus, each solar system has its own, shall we say, local coordinate system of illusory natural laws. It shall be understood that any portion, no matter how small, of any density or illusory pattern contains, as in an holographic picture, the one creator which is infinity. Thus all begins and ends in mystery. Questioner, can you tell me how the individualized infinity created our galaxy and if the same portion created our planetary system and, if so, how this came about? Ra, I am Ra. We may have misperceived your query. We were under the distortion slash impression that we had responded to this particular query. Would you restate the query? Questioner, I am wondering if the planetary system that we are in now was all created at once or if our sun was created first and the planets later? Ra, I am Ra. The process is from the larger, in your illusion, to the smaller. Thus the co-creator, individualizing the galaxy, created energy patterns which then focused in multitudinous focuses of further conscious awareness of intelligent infinity. Thus, the solar system of which you experience inhabitation is of its own patterns, rhythms, and so-called natural laws which are unique to itself. However, the progression is from the galaxy spiraling energy to the solar spiraling energy, to the planetary spiraling energy, to the experiential circumstances of spiraling energy which begin the first density of awareness of consciousness of planetary entities. Questioner. Could you tell me about this first density of planetary entities? Ra, I am Ra. Each step recapitulates intelligent infinity in its discovery of awareness. In a planetary environment all begins in what you would call chaos, energy undirected and random in its infinity. Slowly, in your terms of understanding, there forms a focus of self-awareness. Thus the Logos moves. Light comes to form the darkness, 
according to the co-creator's patterns and vibratory rhythms, so constructing a certain type of experience. This begins with first density which is the density of consciousness, the mineral and water life upon the planet learning from fire and wine the awareness of being. This is the first density. Questioner, how does this first density then progress to greater awareness? Ra, I am Ra. The spiraling energy, which is the characteristic of what you call light, moves in a straight line spiral thus giving spirals an inevitable vector upwards to a more comprehensive beingness with regards to intelligent infinity. Thus, first dimensional beingness strives towards the second density lessons of a type of awareness which includes growth rather than dissolution or random change. Questioner. Could you define what you mean by growth? Ra, I am Ra. Picture, if you will, the difference between first vibrational mineral or water life and the lower second density beings which begin to move about within and upon its being. This movement is the characteristic of second density, the striving towards light and growth. Questioner, by striving towards light, what do you mean? Ra, I am Ra. A very simplistic example of second density growth striving towards light is that of the leaf striving towards the source of light. Questioner, is there any physical difference between first and second density? For instance if I could see both a first and second density planet side by side, in my present condition, could I see both of them? Would they both be physical to me? Ra, I am Ra. This is correct. All of the octave of your densities would be clearly visible were not the fourth through the seventh freely choosing not to be visible. Questioner, then how does the second density progress to the third? Ra, I am Ra. The second density strives towards the third density which is the density of self-consciousness or self-awareness. The striving takes place through the higher second density forms who are invested by third density beings with an identity to the extent that they become self-aware mind slash body complexes, thus becoming mind slash body slash spirit complexes and entering third density, the first density of consciousness of spirit. Questioner, what is the density level of our planet Earth at this time? Ra, I am Ra. The sphere upon which you dwell is third density in its beingness of mind slash body slash spirit complexes. It is now in a space slash time continuum, fourth density. This is causing a somewhat difficult harvest. Questioner, how does a third density planet become a fourth density planet? Ra, I am Ra. This will be the last full question. The fourth density is, as we have said as regularized in its approach as the striking of a clock upon the hour. The space-slash-time of your solar system has enabled this planetary sphere to spiral into space-slash-time of a different vibrational configuration. This causes the planetary sphere to be able to be molded by these new distortions. However, the thought forms of your people during this transition period are such that the mind-slash-body-slash-spirit complexes of both individual and societies are scattered throughout the spectrum instead of becoming able to grasp the needle, shall we say, and point the compass in one direction. Thus, the entry into the vibration of love, sometimes called by your people the vibration of understanding, is not effective with your present societal complex. Thus. The harvest shall be such that many will repeat the third density cycle. The energies of your wanderers, your teachers, and your adepts at this time are all bent upon increasing the harvest. However, there are few to harvest. Questioner, I would like to apologize for sometimes asking inappropriate questions. It's difficult sometimes to ask precisely the right question. I don't wish to go over any ground that we've already covered. I notice that this period is slightly shorter than previous work sessions. Is there a reason for this? Ra, I am Ra. This instrument's vital energy is somewhat low. Questioner, I am assuming from this that it would be a good idea not to have another session today. Is that correct? Ra, I am Ra. 
it is well to have a session later if it is acceptable that we monitor this instrument and cease using it when it becomes low in the material which we take from it. We do not wish to deplete this instrument. Questioner, this is always acceptable in any session. I will ask my final question. Is there anything that we can do to make the instrument more comfortable or aid in this communication? Ra, I am Ra. It is well. Each is most conscientious. Continue in the same. I am Ra. I leave you in the love and the light of the one infinite creator. Go forth, therefore, rejoicing in the power and the peace of the one creator. Adonai.